That's Corner of the Sky from the Broadway musical Pippin. The show is now on tour after months of rehearsals. David Pogue got an up-close preview. Seven, eight, one. Sasha Let's Allen see. has performed on Broadway. Go one. Go she two, was a finalist three, on the TV go show go The Voice. One, round two, three, four. But nice nothing five, has prepared six, her for a challenge like this. Yeah, yeah. I've never done this style dance before, so the training that I've been doing has has been kicking my butt. Right, okay, it, it really has. Alan leads the cast of the new national tour of Pippin, the Broadway musical revival that won four Tony Awards in 2013. She had only a few months to master a role immortalized by Ben Vereen. Pippin originally opened on Broadway in 1972, directed and choreographed by the legendary Bob Fosse, with songs by Stephen Schwartz. Pippin and his father, King Charlemagne, were actual historical figures. But this musical is no history lesson. It's about a young man's very modern journey through war, politics, and love to find himself, to find his corner of the sky. Gotta find my corner. Pippin was played by a 26-year-old unknown named John Rubenstein. Remember that name. For the Broadway revival, Tony-winning director Diane Paulus turned the show's chorus into a troupe of circus performers. As she sees it, the circus theme is perfect for a national tour. They're actually going to pick up that tent and move it city to city. There's a reality of that touring life that I think is only going to reinforce the meaning of the show with every stop we make. The touring cast will make stops in more than 25 U.S. cities. The circus theme also means that singing and dancing aren't enough. The cast also had to learn acrobatics. To your heels, transfer. Pippin's grandmother is played by Lucy Arnez, Broadway veteran, daughter of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnez, and novice on the trapeze. They said, here's how you get strong. You do these, and you do those, and you do this, and trust the process, and pretty soon you'll be able to do that. My body is this way, and I have to still sing the last chorus of the song, and then go upside down and sing the last line. But, that's kind of fun. And tears by the also learning new tricks, Kyle Selig in the title role. Uh, yes. <laughs> this tour is really my first big gig. Think uh, like a monkey, like a monkey. Think like a monkey. What? I've never even thought about being an acrobat. It's like learning a whole new art form. Three. But he'd be learning from four, someone who's already been in his five. shoes. On the national tour, King Charlemagne Pippin's father is John Rubenstein, who created the role of Pippin in 1972. You're the original Pippin, and now you are playing your father. Yes. So what's that like? Well, it's wonderful. The main thing is I don't have to hit all those high notes anymore. <laughs> we got foibles and fables. Right, so you're just singing your ink. You're alone doing that. Yes. yes. But it's not weird? Oh, no, you don't sure. go, sure. that's my part. No, you know what it's like? Visiting after 40-some years, you're home and you had amazing memories you come back and it's the same place and it smells the same but they've redecorated it and you have a new family magic lust merriment paulus and her cast rehearsed for a month and a half in new york city and made something look new. at it no, no, no little moves yeah, be strong. Turn around now, look at the whole space. Now turn to Pippin and tell him. She pushed Sasha Allen. Not so flattering. Now is it? You're not in control. And the rest of the cast. You know. Yeah. Not to simply recreate what's been done on Broadway. You dig for this, but I want you to at least But to make the show this. their own. That it's not, it's not about them. It's not about them at all. In a way, the national tour is the opportunity to visit it again, 
hopefully make it a little better. You get your second chance to go in there, and this morning we were actually making some changes of things that I've wanted to change. Oh, now see her, see her, see her. But is it possible the tour will be better than the Broadway? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now this next is a little vague, so speak this, the chorus. But that means that Selig, fresh out of college, had to exceed his director's demands exactly. as they now, explored this new this corner of the fault. sky. What, what are you going to say next? Gotta find my, my what? Gotta my, find my corner. Of the what? Of the sky. Of the sky. You see what I mean? Like, yeah. make these words like you are making them up. Mm -hmm. We are ready to go to Denver. As rehearsals ended, the show's elaborate rigging went up in Denver, the show's first stop. For eight more months, the 50 members of the cast and crew will be family. People are going to get mad at each other, and people are going to fall in love, and all kinds of stuff is going to happen on the road. It's just what happens. And stuff did happen. A week before opening night, Selig left the show. That was a hard moment for him, for us. I adore him. He was doing great work, but he just needed the vocal time off to take care of himself. So the show needed a replacement Pippin, fast. Somebody who already knew the part. Somebody who'd played Pippin on Broadway. Somebody like <laughs> Matthew James Thomas. Pippin on tour. I'm going to do a back flip. You want to see it? Who played Pippin when the revival opened in New York City. I'd be an idiot not to say yes. But he hadn't done the show in five months. Thomas had just six days to learn all the changes that Paulus had put into the touring show. Any production coming together is like the birthing of something. It's going to be incredibly painful, and you have no idea what's going to happen. And what did happen? Rave reviews for the whole cast, including the original Pippin and the original, original Pippin, John Rubenstein. They'll perform this show eight times a week in city after city. Hartford, Connecticut is the next stop. Welcome to the show! Attending these rehearsals took me back. As a kid, I wore out the Pippin cast recording. It gave me the Broadway bug. In fact, before I became a humble TV correspondent, I worked as a Broadway conductor. And here I was with my Pippin. I had to ask him, would you consent to letting me accompany you on eight bars of Corner of the Sky? Sure, if I can still sing it. <clears throat> everything has its season, everything has its time. Show me a reason, and I'll soon show you a rhyme. Cats fit on the windowsill, children fit in the snow. 42 years after creating the role on Broadway, John Rubenstein sang Pippin's signature song once again, something this touring company never thought they'd see. Eagles belong where they can fly. Got to it's very emotional being on the stage with John. He is Pippin grown up. Gotta find my corner of the sky. Oh, yeah. He's still got it. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. That was sweet of you. Oh, my God. You are awesome. I'm a plain 